Okay, hello. Uh, today we'll be talking about the immune system, which is a really interesting topic, complex to some. And uh, the main topic will be we'll be talking about immunoglobulins. Okay. As I've shown you in the last uh, videos, there is a, a formula I've given you so you can remember all the types of in immunoglobulins forever. That formula is AGMED, immunoglobulin A, G, M, E, and D. Now, now we'll be talking, we'll be talking about uh, more information, we'll be talking about more specific information that I've summarized for you uh, in this table. We'll be talking about the antibodies, the Ig, the immunoglobulins A, G, M, E, and D. As you can all see, first of all, we'll start with the immunoglobulin A, IgA. First, its shape is a dimer. You can say a long X or two opposite Ys stick together. Now, let's talk about the function of IgA, the, the role of IgA. The role of IgA is mucosal immunity. That's the main role. How and where is it found? It is found in secretory form. Um, you can find it in tears, saliva, colostrum, colostrum, as I told you last time, uh, it means breast milk, everybody knows this, genitourinary tract, GIT, gastrointestinal tract, prostate, respiratory epithelium, which is in the bronchial tract, and in blood. But, 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 it is found in blood in really small amounts, very, very small amounts. Its main job over here is to put the, is to excuse me, it's to protect the body against microbes. It's, it's the protection against microbes and body secretions. Now the total Ig production is 75 percent, but it's not the highest in quantity. IgG is the highest of all of them. That's what we're only talking about the total Ig production, not the quantity in blood serum. And the last information uh, about IgA, Neisseria gonorrhea, Neisseria gonorrhea prote protease can destroy, destroys IgA. That's the bad thing about Neisseria gonorrhea, as protease. Now let's get to IgG. IgG has a shape of a monomer. The main function of IgG, or let me tell you, not the main, the functions of IgG are secondary immune response. We'll get to the other function after this info. IgG in adult serum is 85 percent. It's the highest quantity of immunoglobulin inside the blood serum, inside the adult serum. I hope you don't, won't forget that. Okay. Now let's get back to more information about IgG.
Now, listen here. You need to be really attentive. Only IgG, IgG only can pass or passes through the placenta. And it protects by its passive immunity. It protects the fetus in utero and the newborn, which is neonate, with, with its passive immunity. It passes through. Not, it's not produced, but it passes through the placenta and protects the fetus in utero and the neonate. Now let's get back to another antibody, which is IgM. IgM is the largest antibody of them all. It's the largest one. It's a pentamer. <clears throat> Immunoglobulin M, IgM, is the primary immune response. Primary immune response. The second info about this it's that IgM antibody, the IgM, only IgM is produced as an active immunity in the fetus in utero and the neonate, which is the newborn. So, what did you get about this? So, when a, f a fetus in utero or a neonate or a newborn gets an infection, it produces IgM to protect itself against uh, micro, uh, foreign antigens or foreign uh, uh, infections. It is an active immunity and, the, and is the only one that can be produced in the neonate and in the fetus in utero. Now let's get to the next antibody. Let's get to the next immunoglobulin, IgE, which is IgE. IgE has also the shape of the letter Y. It's a monomer. The role of IgE, the function of IgE, is known as for allergy, type 1 hypersensitivity, immune system response to parasitic worms. Parasitic worms like parasitic worms like, for example, Schistosoma mansoni, Trichinella spiralis, and Fasciola hepatica. And important during and it's important during the immune defense against protozoan parasites such as Plasmodium falciparum. It is capable of triggering the most powerful immune reaction. And we'll get to more important information about IgE later on in my next clips. But now I'll summarize some main information. If it's uh, responsible for allergy, of course it, it should have an effect for anaphylaxis, right? Okay. Now, let's get back to the other point, to the next point. IgE binds to mast cells and basophils. Uh, to mast cells, surfaces, surface, and basophils. 
plus it is found on eosinophils, monocytes, macrophages, and platelets. Okay, and it recognizes cancer. It recognizes cancer. Now, let's get to the, to the last immunoglobulin, to the last antibody, IgD. It's also a monomer, the shape of a Y, of the sh Y letter. Um, okay, IgD, IgD activates B cells, the main info, the IgD activates B cells and defends the body by the immune system. So, it activates B cells to, to activate to defend the body by the immune system. Also, it starts to be expressed when B cells exits, goes out of the bone marrow to populate peripheral, peripheral lymphoid tissues. So, that was the main information for now. Also, some important information. Uh, IgD binds to basophils and mast cells, then activates them, you see, then activates them to produce antimicrobial factors to participate in respiratory immune defense in humans. So, I guess for today, for the moment, it will be enough, and uh, we'll get back soon with more information to widen more you, uh, your knowledge about um, many different topics in medicine, and I hope to see you soon. Take care, and all the best.